In this video, let us see how to add markers, change the colors and also add row legends and interact with them in order to make a graph appear more visually appealing. So in this example video, I'll be plotting a scatter plot using graph builder uh, for uh, efficiency as a function of uh, concentration. So by default, you can see that there is a scatter plot with a smoother. So for this demonstration, I'll be removing the smoother by clicking on the smoother button at the top. And now let's say you want to color these points as a function of another variable in the column. Let's say you want to color it as a function of performance. You can drag and drop performance as a color variable. So now you can see that the scatter plot is colored based on performance. And by coloring plots this way, you can actually get some uh, interesting and insightful conclusions or observations. And so in this plot, uh, you can also you, you also want to change the way the markers appear and also these colors. This can be done by interacting with the legend here on the right. So let's say you want to change the type of the marker for uh, the accept rate. So you can just uh, right click on the legend here. Uh, and you can see four options that appear color marker marker size and transparency so now i want to change the marker to something that is uh, more visually uh, which clearly differentiates between accept and reject so let's say i choose this so now uh, you can definitely distinguish but also you can see that the reject the size for the reject is quite small so you can increase that by right clicking on reject selecting marker size and then maybe increasing it to something different. So now uh, you can see that um, you can see that uh, for a particular uh, con beyond a certain concentration for the catalyst, uh, you can see that the accept rate is uh, much higher and probably the value is around 49.959. Uh, so you can actually uh, pin this uh, uh, the pop-up label that is coming up here by just moving to the pop-up label and then clicking on this pinning icon over here and once you pin it you can actually move this uh, so that there is an arrow which clearly indicates the point and also the other thing that you can do is you can add a vertical line here which clearly distinguishes the higher acceptance rate from the lower acceptance rate this can be done by right clicking on the x-axis choosing axis settings and then uh, you can actually add a line and here uh, I'm changing the line style to maybe a dashed line and uh, maybe you can also uh, change the color if needed um, maybe make it light gray and then say okay so now uh, oh it kind of came in a different place so let's change that uh, in order to edit the line you can just go to access settings and then you can choose the line here and then click on the value uh, you can say 49.959 and then uh, say update and then say okay so now you can see that the line moved so once you have uh, made all the required changes to the plot you can say done to finish up